Advocate is going to be working with exponent rules. So on this foldable, you're not going to fold it completely in half. We're only going to fold it so we can see the title here. There are six different properties of exponents. Today we're going to talk about the product property and the quotient property. We're going to learn some rules and we're going to learn to apply them. So with the product property, if you have like bases, be it numbers or letters, then you can take your exponents and you can add them. When we're dividing, again, we have to have like bases, then you can take your exponents and you can subtract them. So we're gonna elaborate on that today. Um, and we'll do some examples with some numbers. When we look on the inside here, I'm gonna give you an example and then we will see how it works and we'll come back to this algebraic rule. So if I gave you x squared times x to the third, notice that these bases are the same, remember on an exponent, um, or on a power, the big one is the base, the small one is the exponent. If we were to expand this out, all right, why this works, I would write x times x, this is my x squared, and then I would say for x to the third, x times x times x, this is my x to the third. Well, how many x's do I have now? One, two, three, four, five. So I get x to the fifth. So that is why it works. So our example would be we would take x to the two plus three to get x to the five. We can also do this with numbers. Say I have six to the third times six to the fourth. Well, six to the third is six times six times six to the fourth is times six times six times six times six. Well, how many sixes do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have six to the seventh power. So the shortcut, instead of writing them all out like this, is to simply add our exponents. Okay, so our algebraic rule is a to the m times a to the n equals a to the m plus n. We have some examples over here. We'll go to those in just a few minutes. Let's look at quotient. So again, quotient means divide. So if I gave you x to the fifth divided by x to the second, well, what would this look like if we expanded it? It would look like x times x times x times x times x, one, two, three, four, five, that's on my numerator, over x times x, my denominator. Well, we know that anything divided by itself is one. So this becomes a one and this becomes a one. What are we left with? x cubed. Well, what happened? Well, five minus two is three because we had those two denominator x's that canceled out. We can do this with numbers as well. Maybe I have um, five to the eighth over five to the third. Well, I would write five times 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 five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight over five times five times five. Well, I know five divided by five is one. I'm left with five to the fifth power. The shortcut for that is eight minus three is five. So our algebraic rule is when you have like bases, a to the m over a to the n, we can subtract our exponents. Okay, so we can look at a couple of examples here and then I'm gonna have you do some and we'll look at them in class. Okay, x to the fourth times x to the third. Now, if you're not sure, you can always go ahead and write them out. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
okay? If you have no exponent written, it is a one. So I'm gonna let you do number two. Looking at number three, now this one is a little different. You have some not like bases, right? M to the fifth and M to the third. Those are like bases, but these are just coefficients. So when we have just coefficients, if we're gonna expand this out and we're multiplying, we're gonna multiply two times negative six, and then I have my M's. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And when we have our coefficients, we just do our normal math, right? Two times negative six is a negative 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or we could say five plus three is eight. Okay, so the tricky part is in fact those coefficients. We can even go through and expand it some more. So here we have coefficients, three times seven, and I have multiple bases, right? I can put my y's with my y's, so my rule is to add my exponents. I can put my z's with my z's, right? And so since we're multiplying, we would add our exponents. So three times seven is 21. Y, four plus two is six. Z, two plus seven is nine. And again, if you wanted to write these out like we did up here with the y's and the z's, you can. Hopefully you can get the hang of those rules though. Over here on number six, notice this c does not have an exponent. It has a one. Please get in the habit of writing that invisible one. I would like you to do two, four, and six, and we'll look at them tomorrow. Um, let's have a little glance here at the division. So same concept, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I did have them all. And two, right? So I have one, two, three, four, five. Or I could use the rule and say seven minus two is five. Um, I do want you to try number eight. Look here, now we have coefficients here. So this is like saying 27 over nine times k to the 10 over k to the six, where we're just gonna do this like normal, right? Nine goes into 27 three times. You could write these out and cancel them like we did up here, or you can use the rule 10 minus six is four, all right? Same thing down here, right? We have coefficients. We do normal math with the coefficients. And if it helps you to write out what you're doing each time before you simplify, then by all means do that. Okay, we're gonna talk about this G in a minute. 42 over six is seven. F eight minus five is three. 6 minus 7, we can write negative 1. Later on in our unit, we're going to talk about what that negative 1 looks like. But if you want to write it with a negative, that's perfectly fine. I would like you to also try 8, 10, and 12, and then we'll look at those when you come to class.